good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. This will be our topic for quarter 3, module number 4, and week number 5. Disasters are inevitable. They are caused by unsustainable development that has not taken account of possible hazard impacts in the location. They can be less damaging if the population has better understanding of locality experience hazards and implements preventive or mitigating measures against them. Rest management is needed for disaster prevention to ensure sustainability development so that people can lead a good, healthy, and happy life without creating damage to the environment. The objectives of this lesson is that you will first to identify various potential earthquake hazards. The second one is to explain earthquakes preventive measures. And the last one is to determine mitigation and preparedness before earthquakes phenomenon. An earthquake is a shaking of the ground caused by a sudden slippage of the rock masses below or at the surface of the earth. It is a wave-like movement of the earth's surface. An earthquake may be classified either tectonic or volcanic. Tectonic earthquakes are produced by sudden movement along the faults and plates boundaries. Whereas, earthquakes induced by rising lava or magma beneath active volcanoes is called volcanic earthquakes. In certain cases, earthquake can result from man-made activities such as detonation of explosives, deep mining activities, and etc. However, these earthquakes are mild and may fail only as tremors. A very severe earthquake is usually associated with shocks, called foreshocks and aftershocks. Four shocks are the series of tremors that occur before the main earthquakes, whereas aftershocks are weaker earthquakes that follow the main shocks and can cause further damage to weakened buildings. Be aware that some earthquakes are actually four shocks and a stronger earthquake might occur. What are you going to do before an earthquake? So recommended to appropriate authorities the evaluation of structural soundness of school buildings and important infrastructures. Another one is to request appropriate authorities to determine whether the school site is along an active fault and or in liquefaction or landslide prone areas which may cause school building to fall. Another one is to make sure the school building design complies with the National Building Code standards. Another preparation is that on existing school building with one door, request proper authorities to provide two exit doors for every classroom. Another preparation is that 
check for the presence of other potential sources of hazard due to secondary effect of earthquakes like steep hill slope, hanging heavy object, dumb storage tanks, falling debris, and fire. So what are you going to do during an earthquake? So all you have to do is to stay calm, advise students to protect their body from falling debris by bracing themselves in a doorway or by getting under a sturdy desk or table. Another thing you do during an earthquake is when inside the vehicle, pull to the side of the road and stop. Do not attempt to cross bridges or overpasses which may have been damaged. Another thing to do during an earthquake is direct learners to move to an open area when they are outside a building or any structure. Another thing to do during an earthquake is to stay away from power line, post, walls, and other structures that may collapse. Stay away from the building with large glass panes. Another thing to do during an earthquake is to move away from the steep escarpment which may be affected by landslide, particularly if they are on the mountains or near steep hill slopes. Another thing to do during an earthquake, if there is a need to evacuate, apply to a body-body system and follow orders from the principal or school head. Wait for your parents to reach you from the evacuation center and inform the principal if you will leave the area. Another thing to do during an earthquake.